back to the morning show. Our next guest has a pretty good gig. He's gone from Broadway to the beach, shooting on location in Hawaii on the hit show Lost. Yep, oh, he plays rough. Ben, you know, that uh, creepy character, the leader of the mysterious group, The Others. It's the character everybody loves to hate. Check it out. You're going to stop it. Juliet doesn't care about you, Jack. Doesn't matter what she's done. No matter what you think. She's one of us. Do we have a deal? We're not. Please welcome Michael Emerson. <laughs> he says, hey, Michael. Hey. How are you? I'm very good. You're not that creepy. Not at all. <laughs> good to see you, Mike. Good to see you, too. That doesn't offend you when people say, hey, Really creepy. You're not, you're not really creepy. Yeah. Should creepy be my middle name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's the first word that leaps into everyone's head. <laughs> Is that true though? When you're walking down there, or when you're out in public, to be ah. Oh! It's like, yeah, God. I, yeah, I get some strong reactions from people. But it's usually a mixture of terror and pleasure. But that's because of the characters you played. Okay, the guy I mean, on, on Lost, but also you were in that horrifying movie Saw. And you're t torturing people. Why are you constantly getting cast as this, this serial, a serial killer? Serial killer. Misunderstood victim. <laughs> There it is. Oh, God, that, that was disturbing. Yeah, how does a nice guy from Iowa keep having this happen? Is It it happens, what, like, on the practice, you want an Emmy for that. But yeah, that was years right. ago. Does yeah. it naturally then follow, oh, let's get the guy from that role? Well, some people will seek you out if they've seen <laughs> that you've done a thing mm -hmm. a certain way. I think uh, the, the roles I've tended to play, although they're sort of dangerous and damaged. They, they have a certain ambiguity about them. Uh, the, the package doesn't look like the contents exactly. in a way. And, and people find that frightening. What time, I, I, under, I read that you, you started off, you wanted to be an actor, but then you kind of got sidetracked. It just didn't happen. And you went off and became an illustrator. I did. I, that, I should be the poster boy for late starter in life. That's, that's great, though. But it, it, it's all right. I'm not sure what I had to offer the world when I was <laughs> 21. But by the time I got around to acting in my 30s, I think I'd lived a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, had thought about it a little Some more carefully. Some more experience. Yeah. But a lot of people, though, come to New York like you did from Iowa, and they, they get so discouraged they never try it again. D what made you want to dip back into the pool? I, I don't know. I guess, I guess the dream that I had held since childhood would not go away for some reason. Was it, was it, did your wife have something to do with it, or meeting your wife have something to do with it? Well, I, I started acting in the South mm -hmm. and worked community theater, and then I worked around the regions, you know, playing classics in the capitals of the Confederacy. And finally, <laughs> uh, I met my wife doing a production of Hamlet in Alabama. <laughs> Hamlet in Alabama. And there she is. Tell us a little bit about her. Uh, she's, she's an actress. She's a wonderful and clever actress, and we live uh, just a few blocks from here. Oh, you do? In Can New York City. Over? Uh, that would be fun. Cool. Well, yeah. Carrie's probably watching right now. I mean, is she down like she, 47th Street? No, she's in Carrie. Los Angeles oh, somewhere. In, oh, shoot. Where are you, honey? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, what does she feel like when she, you're walking down the street and people freak out? There's uh, the other guy. I think she thinks it's funny. <laughs> Until people give her the camera and say, "Will you take a picture of us," and then she thinks it's annoying. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? What's what's the whole deal with celebrity and going out? Where, is there a line that you draw? You say, "Stay away from me at all times," or "Stay away from me when I'm eating dinner with my wife." It, it is going to be a thing so fleeting. <laughs> uh, you, you might as well try to enjoy it. A yeah, little there you bit go. Good while, attitude. Yeah. It's a yeah. great attitude. And you talk about fleeting. If I was on Lost, I mean, you never know who's going to get kicked off or, oh my or gosh, killed yeah. or whatever. You, right. D do you think that that's imminent? This is temporary employment, I think. <laughs> and you, but you guys know that. I mean, you know that it's it's always going to be that way. Does it, I, what's the story with contracts there? Does does everybody have a short contract, or how does that work? No, everybody has the sort of a conventional contract, but some people choose to buy pineapple plantations, and some people are living out of a suitcase, like me. Cause yeah. <laughs> so do you take odds on it? I mean, do you talk about it among yourselves? I have seen odds figured in magazines, you know, the, the likelihood of me surviving the season or whatever. I don't really know. What's your going right? I think you know? The I last think I heard was six, six to, to one. one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope well. You can't get rid of you. You're the leader. 
Well, for now, I'm the bad guy, but what if they bring in somebody who's, who's even worse? Yeah. yeah. Is there a technique to being the bad guy? I mean, you, you mentioned it a little bit, because you do have a kind of a smoldering thing. I'm, a, I'm just a nice guy from Iowa, and then... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I, what I, is it? I, I think the writing sort of takes care of that, and a lot of it is chemistry in the brain of the viewers. You, you know, I, oh. I just have to... I just play the tension between the sort of mild-mannered package and, and the sort of danger and terror of the situation. You know, you know what I notice about you, and, and this is, I was also with, the, like, Anthony Hopkins in Silence of the Lambs. Mm. When he talked, you know, that creepy, he talked like this, and he didn't move his head. He just, like, you know, Slow stared at the, you know, or, yeah, it was kind of like this mesmerizing sort of thing. That always seems very effective. I don't know if you've noticed that. I, I think there's something frightening about people who are... <laughs> Calm, or, or, or maybe so true. a little too calm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, a, as if they have a leg up on you somehow, or, or they have a secret so agenda true. that's going to kick in any minute. That's so true. How we, is it working on an island, by the way? It's it's great. It's beautiful, and I think it's healthy in in a way. Well, partly because the the environment is so agreeable, but also we're far away from mm -hmm. the sort of madness of the studios and the paparazzi sure. and all of that. We, yeah. we just kind of show up and punch in and punch out. You want to go outside in New York? It's 11 degrees. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can catch him on Lost Wednesday nights on ABC. Michael Emerson, he's not creepy at all. Hey, you're a real sweetheart. All right. Don't go away. We're going to be right back. <laughs>